Hello everyone. It's another beautiful, gorgeous morning in Southern California. And uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make uh, Bundi Laddu, my world famous Bundi Laddu. Or that's how my friends make me feel when I share with them. And everybody wants this recipe. So I thought I'll just make a video and post it so it's easy to share. So enjoy, uh, grab a cup of coffee and let's get started. So let me start with the ingredients. But believe me, this is uh, quite a lot of ingredients, but you won't be using too much of everything. I have a standard cup measure. Uh, I will put in the description uh, for one cup measure, but today I'm making a bulk. So I have multiple things going. Uh, to start with, you need oil for frying. You have sugar for sugar syrup, and you have basin or chickpea flour and a pinch of salt and these are ingredients that I will be using for flavoring I have food color you can or you don't need to really add it but it gives a nice golden color especially when you're sharing with friends and family you need some appetizing color but you can skip on it and I have some saffron I'll use two pinches and some edible camphor this is very specific uh, to South Indian laddu. North Indians don't prefer it, but South Indians don't mind it. And then I have cashews, uh, raisins. Usually I pick up my cashew in a bulk at Costco or Sam's, and then I break it up. That's the best route to go. Uh, Indian store is way too expensive. Uh, this is pretty uh, economical if you're watching your budget. And of course, raisins I picked up at Costco as well. And this one is whole green uh, cardamom that I'm going to use uh, per cup. I will use two and then also cloves, uh, two per cup of basin. And I have everything here that I need for my uh, flavoring ingredients. Uh, I have my cloves, cardamom, saffron, my edible camphor, everything ready to go and uh, as usual every desert needs salt so i started off with salt because i didn't want to forget it's so minimal you may tend to forget i have water to mix my basin and uh, make a batter with the chickpea flour you need to add enough to make a, like a thin crepe batter or a dosa batter and uh, let's see i have a bowl uh, that i'm gonna fry everything in once the bundis are fried, I will transfer to a paper covered uh, uh, bowl to drain all the oil. These are what I will be using, uh, especially this uh, ladle is very specific for making bundis. Uh, let me turn on the light. Okay. And then this is how I'm going to gather everything. I'm going to pick it up from this. This is a very uh, different uh, kind of a uh, scoop, but... I just found it very handy so I've been using it for years and I scoop up from the oil like I'll scoop from the oil and put it all in there let it sit and drain for a little bit and then transfer to the bigger bowl and the first thing that we will do is make sugar syrup so I have a big enough container where I have to add the sugar as well as uh, once the syrup is done I will be adding the boondies to it okay the fried boondies I will collect all my boondies here and transfer it all at one shot okay so we're gonna start uh, doing our sugar syrup first so as per measurement I will put uh, one cup measurement uh, you know how to make a boondi laddu for one cup uh, each cup makes about 10 to 12 laddus so you just have to multiply for the number of uh, laddus you need okay i got my card ready to go let's get started and today since i'm making it for christmas and uh, i want to give it away for friends and family i'm going to make a big bulk maybe 10 cups of flour so if you want to make a bulk um, uh, laddu uh, please do follow but look in the description for a single cup if you want to make a small batch okay this is not very complicated. I've made it tons of times and everybody enjoys it. Once you get the hang of it, you should be able to make it on a regular basis. And everybody will say, your laddu is the most world famous laddu I've ever eaten. Okay, let's get started. So let's uh, start with our sugar syrup. Turn on your stove and uh, add about 
for each cup of besan i will add one cup of equal quantity okay and in california some of the sugar we have is so fine that you just need to add three fourths of it but this granule uh, organic sugar is little bit more granular so i'm going to use probably one is to one so i've added about uh, two cups of water because the sugar will settle and start crystallizing at the bottom before i measure all my 10 cups so i just wanted to make sure uh, that doesn't happen so i'm just giving it some substance to melt into okay so there's one So that's the last of my sugar. So 10 cups of sugar with two cups of water so far. You just need water so it just submerges the sugar. I have a wet uh, wooden ladle. I'm just gonna make sure nothing is stuck in the bottom. So our sugar is submerged. I might add a little more water, maybe three, uh, another cup or so okay just so it makes a nice syrup so the sugar has to come to a one string consistency and uh, it shouldn't crystallize though so be careful keep an eye on it next we'll make our basin batter for the boondies you can add your uh, coloring here and your pinch of salt also if you need but right now we'll just let the sugar get to be the syrup consistency and we'll come back since i'm making a bigger bulk uh, i'm going to make five cups of batter first i mean basin uh, laddu batter uh, starting with five cups of flour and then i will make another batch of five okay so get one level scoop and four more of that for this batch and we'll come back so this is five cups of flour I'm gonna add a pinch of salt and a pinch of food color. So I added a pinch of the food coloring. Be careful, it does stain your hands. So keep it bare minimum. I had to open up the pack so it just spilled on my hands. And now I'm gonna have a video with yellow hands. <laughs> so you're gonna whisk the batter. Just make sure. Some people get to sieve it. But I don't find the need to do it because it's not as bad. It's not a lumpy, lumpy flour. So I have my water. I'm going to start adding little at a time. And keep whisking as you go. Start from the center and incorporate. You can use a hand blender too. But then I find my hands. By now you know I like to do it all with hands. So my batter is ready to go. It's as thin as uh, crepe batter. And I have my hot pan. I'm gonna pour oil. Any oil should do. I use canola. Uh, but uh, the most, uh, you know, advisable one would be ghee. Makes it very rich. But then, right now, canola is gonna do the job. I have a video on how to dispose of your used oil. Please don't reuse your oils. Discard it in the most responsible way. Okay. Sugar syrup is boiling away. It should become a nice clear uh, syrup. So wait and be patient with it. And should be a one string consistency. Okay. Not there yet. I did some few changes since my batter looked way too yellow. I went ahead and mixed my other five cups of basin and uh, this is how it looks and the consistency you see how it is okay and my sugar syrup is also coming along uh, usually I put the ladle in a bowl of water so it doesn't crystallize each time I'm gonna stir in and sometimes there's a scum on top you can remove that and wait for it to come to a string consistency it's not there yet my oil has been heating and let's do a batter test as usual take a little bit of it put it in the oil see it's ready to go lower the temperature if you have to and let's start making our bundis grab a deep uh, ladle to scoop the batter and 
keep your slotted boondi laddu maker handy if you have two people this is very good you can do simultaneously but since i'm doing it all by myself i'm gonna need some help i need to improvise so this is how it looks once i ladle it all the boondies fall as pearls stir it quickly it shouldn't crisp up okay it shouldn't crisp up so keep everything handy so you grab these before they get a chance to crisp up see how beautiful they look grab everything and get ready for the next batch so fry all your boondies this way just make sure it's not too crunchy it just takes few seconds ladu is the fastest dessert if you have everything set and organized ahead of time okay so let the boondies drain and make sure see this is crunching up a little bit more than i would like so next batch i'll pull out a little earlier okay uh but yeah it shouldn't crunch up it should be still soft okay yeah this has got little crunchy my sugar syrup is calling me i'm gonna check on it mm. almost but not there yeah almost almost yeah i think i can turn it off right now so let's go ahead finish making all this batter into boondies make sure you pull it out within 30 seconds okay not more longer than that so i thought i'll just show you how the syrup is uh, tested i uh, didn't want to just say oh the sugar syrup is done it's once in one string consistency so you keep a platter with little water and put a few droplets of the sugar syrup okay you should be able to gather it and make a ball okay it should be able to come into your hands and you should be able to make a ball out of it okay so this is right so this is another test for you. sure the oil is uh, hot enough every now and then check the temperature because right now i had troubleshooting happening the temperature was low and it just clumped up so be sure to make a, a good judgment of uh, you know how hot the oil is with each batch and keep a bowl of water ready uh, you need to wipe down this particular ladle from behind each time you make it so the dough uh, the batter doesn't stick onto it okay just a few tips so each time uh, between the batches wait a couple of minutes for the heat to catch up and then start all over again okay and also once your oil is all fried do not throw it in the sink down the drain always repurpose save your old container and fill it and uh, dump it in the recycle call your city find out how to dispose of safely okay it's a big environmental concern and i would want you to be uh, cooking responsibly so my boondies are frying and i put another paper towel i will layer some more so uh, it'll soak up more oil if it's all clumpy like this you can always break it up and uh, when you're mixing it with the syrup it'll get broken anyway so don't discard them that's the batch that uh, the oil was not hot enough so while my boondies are getting done i'm going to fry up all my spices not fry up i'm going to grind it my boondies are getting done i'm going to grind all my uh, spices i have cloves cardamom saffron and a pinch of uh, camphor uh, i'll put the measurements in the description box um, this is for a bulk okay so don't get scared F uh, grind it to a nice uh, powder and add it to the sugar syrup okay since it was a small quantity it's tough to grind it but you can use a mortar pestle and do it as well now i'm going to add it all to the sugar syrup let it all sit and get happy while my boondies get fried and i might add a pinch of uh, color also so let it just sit okay finished uh, making all the boondies 
but my sugar syrup got a little crystallized so I'm going to add some water and reheat it a little bit till I get the one string consistency again. If this ever happens to you, don't panic. You just need to be patient with yourself uh, and it's nothing that is not irreversible. So please add little water and let it uh, come to a one string consistency again uh, and you can proceed. In the meanwhile, I'm going to fry up my cashews and my raisins all in little ghee. Okay, some people just fry it in the oil itself, but I prefer to add a little more flavor and body to my ladoos by adding it uh, with ghee. Okay, I'll put all the measurements in the description box. So my syrup is ready. I have some carols going and I'm all ready to start making my ladoos. I'm going to add my bundi into this and later I'm going to fry up my cashews and add to it and give it a nice tear and um, let it sit for half an hour before I make the ladoos. You're wondering why this looks such an ugly color because it's organic sugar and I added all the cardamoms and the cloves, everything. So it looks a little not pretty, but uh, you'll appreciate it once the ladoos are done. Now the stove is off. I'm gonna slowly start adding my boondies to it. It's raining boondies. Here, that was quite a task. And you're gonna mix your syrup and your boondies together. Take your time. And don't, by mistake, put your hand in the syrup. Syrup scalds you more than real fire. So be gentle and kind to yourself and give it a nice stir and mix it all together. So it's all incorporated and just poke. Make sure everything is getting absorbed. And I'm gonna put a lid on this and let it sit for a little bit uh, to just mingle and let all the sugar syrup get absorbed into the boondies and then We'll add our cashews and raisins and start making boondi ladoos. So while the boondis are resting with the lid, we're going to add some clarified butter or ghee. I have a nice recipe. I'm going to put up uh, a video. I have the stove on. I have my cashews and my raisins. And we're going to add about uh, two to three teaspoons of ghee. It is kind of saturated, but it will melt as you heat it up don't go overboard just enough to fry the cashews and raisins we'll add our cashews first and then the raisins so it's all melted let's add in our cashews you can add as much cashews as you want but for uh, 10 cups I've added like one cup of cashews and half a cup of raisins if you wanted more you can add more nobody's gonna shoot you it should be golden brown and the balloon uh, I mean the Raisin should balloon up. It's almost done. And you toss the entire thing, ghee and all, into the pot with the boondies. Okay? Don't uh, waste the ghee. And it actually enhances the flavor of your laddu. And if you're tempted to add more, please don't. You don't want a soggy, oil laden laddu. Okay? So this has almost come together. Let's turn off the stove and let it uh, rest for two minutes and then we'll add it. So the cashews and the raisins have been cooking in its own heat. The stove is actually off. So I'm gonna add this entire contents into the boondi mixture. So there goes all my nuts and raisins. I'm gonna toss it all together again to incorporate everything. And then I'm gonna wear a pair of gloves and go in and mush this to the best of my ability. I know it's still hot, but it could cool down a little bit more. At this point, I added a little more cardamom powder, some saffron and some camphor, uh, edible camphor, because I kind of felt the flavor was a little low. So you could do that, alter it a little bit more. I will add it in the description. Okay, and now the fun part is grab somebody or watch a movie and make these boondi ladoos one at a time. Okay. 
These have been resting for almost half an hour to 45 minutes. Now it's ready to make into laddus. Many use plain bare hands, but you could use a pair of gloves to stay hygienic. So get your bundi making uh, station ready. You have your bundis and a plate to put everything once your bun, uh, bundi laddus are done. But first, give this a good stir from bottom up and then start making your laddus. Watch some TV, listen to music or call a friend you haven't spoken in days. And get yourself busy making these laddus because you're going to be here for quite some time. So grab some bundis and give some pressure. It should all come together easy because... It's a perfect bundi laddu making concoction. You'll be so happy with yourself for the effort you take. And all this for less than $20. Can you believe? If you just calculate all the amount you uh, put towards making these bundi laddus at home, uh, if you're on a budget, this works beautiful because one pound of laddu in the store is almost eight to twelve dollars okay but for you this would be just twenty dollars for an entire batch of close to hundred some odd i'll let you know the exact number once i'm done okay but so simple and so pretty so try it and let me know what you think like share and subscribe and let me know if you want me to make more such uh, videos and uh, I'll show you the end product.